Okay, so I've just measured out my amount of wax that I need to fill up my containers. Uh, it's 332 grams. So I'm gonna go put that on the, the hob, get that melting down, then I'm gonna come down and measure out the oil to go in there. I'm gonna be using a 10% fragrance load today. Um, so this is a new scent I'm testing. It's um, wood sage and sea salt. So it's the first time I've tested this one. It smells great in the bottle, but I'm obviously gonna make a few wax melts to test first of all, to see how it smells when I'm melting those. Okay, so I've just measured out 33.51 grams of fragrance oil it's the first time i'm using this one this is this is the um, one from randall's candles wood sage and sea salt uh, it's pretty much used the whole bottle here because it's only a small bottle so i'm doing quite a big um, testing testing them out um yeah so that's all measured out i'm going to be dyeing these a like a cool blue color so um as you might be aware rustic barn candles now supplying um candle dye uh, I've got a blue colour here, it's a very good one. Obviously the more you add, the stronger the, the blue is, but I'm just gonna only going to add um, a small amount. I just want to be like a light blue, very light blue for this one. You know, sort of like a sea blue, or in my mind, like a sea blue. But yeah, that's going to go in. Okay, so we've got our melted wax. Just going to take the temperature. at 73 degrees at, at current. So I'm going to put the, the dye straight into that now, only a small bit. So we're using a blue dye from Rustic Barn Candles. So like I said, this one is just like a light blue color. And it's all um, experimentation. You can adjust it next time if you put too much in this time. But I'm just gonna put in uh, only that much. I'm just gonna play with that, see how that looks this time round. If that looks to be a bit too much, well, a bit too, too dark a blue. Then next time I'll do a little bit less. So just stir that in. When you first put it in, it goes quite dark, but you can never can tell the finished color until it's dry. So at the minute that looks darker than what I would want, but when that's when it dries, that will be a lot lighter. So just keep mixing that in there. So I'm gonna um, see what temperature that's at now. That's 68. Just gonna let that drop down a couple more degrees and then I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. So just take a quick reading again. So it's now at 66.9, nearly there for when I wanna add my temperature. I'm looking for about 66 on this one. So yeah, it's about 66 now. So I'm gonna add the fragrance oil in. It's gonna go all in and stir in continuously. I'm trying to eliminate the amount of air that goes into my wax. Air causes sinkholes. So I'm just using a chopstick to stir. Obviously I've only got a small quantity of wax here so I don't need anything bigger. If I'm stirring a bigger quantity of wax, then I've got my uh, metal spoons. I stir with my metal spoons when I'm doing a big jug. Just let all that drip in. That down. I'm going to take a reading again of the temperature. About 60 degrees. So that's the sort of temperature that you can pour out into these plastic containers, 60 degrees. Don't really want to be pouring too much higher in case it um, starts melting or you know disfiguring the actual shape of the container because obviously it's only plastic so you don't want to um, pour too hot there's no need to so 
any of you that's watched my previous videos you know that I use a dispensing tool here I've already heated this up so pour my just gonna get a bit of tissue just dry off dry that off pour the wax into there Every little bit, that will do. Right, and then we're going to pour these now. Right, so just going to pour these out. Again, two little 50 gram pods. Yeah. I'm going to fill up my test of, uh, what have I got left? Should have more than enough left actually to fill that up. Because if my test is not filled to the top, it doesn't matter. That's my tester, and we've measured out. Oh, probably get another tester out of that. As we've got a little bit left in there, we will dispense it. Yeah, we get another little tester. Perfect. I think I must have calculated for two testers when I did did the measuring. But anyway, that's those. So easy to pour out. There's no excuses, really. But these are looking. Look at them drying already. Coming out nice, nice and blue. I want to show you these when they're set, just to see that final colour. But you can see it's just as it's setting around the edge there looking how I was hoping. Here's the wax melts now all set. Um, I've left them for about an hour now so they're, they're properly set. And they've come out a lovely um, blue colour here. I probably could have put even a little bit less dye in because I probably want them a little bit lighter but there's nothing wrong with, with the colour as is. Obviously it's perfectly going to work fine. As they are, see them there. So see, with the right formulation and the right process of melting your wax to the right temperatures, adding that, adding your fragrance oil at the right temperature, obviously adding your dye at the right temperature, then you can get to the perfect results. You can see here there's no smudging. Obviously, there's not, not really going to be frosting at this stage. Frosting comes a bit later on, but on a bad wax, you can get frosting near enough straight away if you've done the process wrong. So yeah, just these are good for testing. That's why I make these smaller ones here. So I'll be testing with these couple of small ones. And if I'm happy with the with the testers, I will put some labels on these bigger ones and use these for my stock pictures, which will go up on the website, obviously. But yeah, these are um, all happy with these ones so far. But you can't fault the wax. The wax is just it's just brilliant. I use the Kurosoy uh, Pillar uh, 4120. Sell it on my website, rusticbarncandles.co.uk. Five kilos is £20.50. It's probably the cheapest price around. I'm trying to be um, on the lowest price stock is out there. So, yeah, I've got the, uh, the dyes to go with them. Multiple colours. Red, orange, black, green, blue, and an assortment of other colours on the way. And very soon, I'm going to have my own uh, containers, wax melt containers, a variety of shapes. That, um, yeah, I'm going to set them at uh, as cheap as can be, really. Um, they're going to be a very fair price, very low price. So, yeah, check it out russetbarncandles.co.uk. Uh, thanks very much for watching my video. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, really appreciate it from my side. Um, hope you're enjoying the videos. And if so, to show your appreciation, just subscribe to the channel. That would be uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much.